Hi Year 10, it's Mr Smith here again with your assembly for the week. Um, just a very uh, quick assembly this week. Well, it might be actually be quick, it'll be probably quite a long uh, assembly. Um, but it's, it's really to give you information about uh, returning to school next week, what we expect of you, what you can expect from us, uh, and how it will look. Um, so without further ado, let's go straight back into it. Uh, so we will welcome you back into school next week. So we're really all excited about welcoming you back. I uh, want to thank everyone for all the hard work and engagement with remote learning. Uh, we know it's been a difficult time uh, for everyone, but together we will obviously overcome it and, and get you back on track. So remember that we are here to help and support you through your learning journey at the Academy. And uh, through hard work, teamwork and resilience, we will be even better learners moving forward. Um, a really important time, obviously, for Year 10. Coming back into school, um, we've only got about, around about a year left at the Academy, so it's really important that as soon as we get back in the building, uh, we start learning uh, again. So, uh, how can you prepare to return to school? So, obviously next week um, we're all going to be back in the building at some point, uh, but it's been a long time since many of you were in the school. So, here are a couple of reminders of how you can get yourself prepared over the next week. So, try to normalise your sleeping patterns, um, get yourself to bed at a nice reasonable hour, uh, make sure you get up in time to have some breakfast before you come to school, get your uniform ready, so get it washed, get it um, out ready so that you, you're ready to come on that first day back. Uh, make sure you've got your face mask uh, ready, so um, we'll come to that in a bit more uh, about what type of face mask you can wear. Um, get your bag packed so that that's ready for you, uh, and then ready your mindset so you're ready to learn once you come back in school, because we don't want to waste any time once you're in the building. So a reminder of our team values, and we all know these, so our team values of responsibility, determination and success underpin everything that we do. So let's work together as teachers and students to make uh, the most of every day that we have together. Uh, remember, as a school, we live by being responsible in all that we do, being determined in all that we do, and being successful in all that we do. So this is how uh, your first day, Tuesday the 9th of March, will look on your return to school. So um, you'll arrive at school on time, at the time alloc allocated for your year group. So um, if you look at this, uh, two forms, 10 D1 and D2, will arrive at 8.40 a.m. Uh, 9.40 a.m. for 10 D3 and D4, 10.40 a.m. for H1 and H2, 11.40 for H3 and H4, and then S1, S2 and S3 arriving at 10 past 1. Um, as you arrive to school on time, make your way through the green gates at the front uh, and use the right side channel. Uh, transition on the right side, down the ramp and across the playground to the sports hall where we will conduct uh, your tests on return to school. So that's how your first day will look. Um, we will give you more information about um, what will happen after your test once you arrive, uh, but you will be in the school for the remainder of the day. Uh, and obviously we'll give you more information about how the rest of your week will then look. Um, on your return to Waterhead, we request that you be tested. Uh, so permission has been requested from your parents um, that you take the test here at the academy. Uh, why is testing important? Well, testing plays a key role in our efforts to contain the virus. Uh, by identifying infected individuals to help prevent further person-to-person -person transmission. Being tested for COVID-19 will help uh, limit the spread to your family and others in your community, decreasing the potential of your loved ones becoming critically ill. What does a negative test mean? Well, a negative test means uh, that the virus that causes COVID-19 was not detected in the specimen collected from your nose and or throat at the time the test was completed. This does not mean that you are okay to ignore government guidance around how to remain safe. We as a school have routines and expectations that will help to keep you, your families and our communities safe. So it's really important um, that we, we get people to take these tests so that we know when you're in the building um, it, you're negative or positive and we can deal with it accordingly. So as you return, um, we're still in the same uh, bubble area for year 10. So our building is unique and in, in that way, we're, we're quite lucky that we'd be able to, to keep you apart from other year groups. So it's been perfect uh, for the planning um, and keeping you safe. So each year group uh, is in a different part of the building, which is spread across five floors in order to create the year group bubbles. So each year group has their own zone with the entrance and exits and toilets as well as break and lunch with their own year group. So we know where that is. So I'm not going to go through telling you exactly where that is. There, there are going to be a few little changes, uh, but it's probably easy for me to explain that once you're in the building um, on Tuesday. So we'll do that on Tuesday with you. Face masks. Just like our previous return to school from the first lockdown, face masks are an effective way of stopping the spread. 
of COVID. So uh, face masks are to be worn at all times by every person unless you have medical exemption from a doctor. Masks do not need to be worn outside of the building. Masks must, must, sorry, masks must be plain black or blue and be appropriate for school. Inappropriate ones with symbols, patterns or pictures on will be collected by staff and given back to you at the end of the day. Staff will give you a mask to use for that day. Masks should be worn everywhere, including classrooms, which is obviously a change, on corridors, in communal areas, during transitions, at break and lunchtime, whilst inside the building. And remember, again, this is for your safety, your family's safety and the school community's safety. Again, more measures to keep safe. Um, cleaning and hygiene. One of the most effective ways of stopping the spread of the virus is by washing and cleaning your hands regularly. Hand sanitizers are available around the school and in every classroom. So you need to sanitize your hands on entering and exiting classrooms, uh, or you can bring your own, or the teachers will provide you one on the door. Wash your hands regularly when you use the toilet. Uh, the school site and building have been deep cleaned. Uh, equipment in specialist subject rooms will be wiped down daily. Door handles are cleaned throughout the day. Class classrooms cleaned when and where necessary and classroom resources cleaned between year groups if a year group shares a classroom such as a computer room. So some further measures to keep you safe. Um, we will allow you to wear a Waterhead Academy school jumper. Um, so it might be a little bit cooler in, than normal inside, so please purchase one of those. Uh, Non-Waterhead Academy school jumpers, hoodies and coats are not allowed to be worn inside the building. Um, but However, if your teacher decides that the classroom is extremely cool, then outdoor coats can be worn. However, these must be removed before you leave the classroom. Complete your work to your personal best, even when you're wearing an outdoor coat. Um, if your coat has a hood, it is not to be put up. At the end of the lesson, you have to stand behind your seat, remove your outdoor coat, waiting to be dismissed. Transition to your next lesson once dismissed by the class teacher. Outdoor coats not to be worn inside the building when transitioning from one classroom to the next. So uniform and PE kit, you must wear your full Waterhead Academy School uniform at all times, including your blazer and your tie. Um, the, the jumper is optional. Please uh, ensure you clean your uniform regularly. You will wear your Waterhead Academy school PE kit to school on the days that you have PE. You will not be able to wear any other items of clothing and outdoor coats are not to be worn indoors. So the PE kit, we know our lessons are on Friday, so we should only really see uh, students in PE kit on a Friday in year 10. Uh, and when you're taking part in physical activity, face masks can be removed, but must be placed in a safe place so that it's not lost. So just add last term. Um, we make sure that we keep hold of our masks, but we can take them off when we're outside. So, um, the uniform, um, blazer on, black trousers, black skirt, knee length and unfitted. Shirt must be tucked in, top button done up. Tie up to the top button with the tie full length um, of the shirt's buttons with the waterhead logo showing and black leather shoes. If you have any issues with your uniform, please inform your tutor, uh, Miss Harper or myself, so that we can provide support. Expectations of PE kit, um, so you've got your, your PE t-shirt, your training top, which is optional, um, waterhead shorts or tracksuit bottoms, black or blue, uh, a skirt can be worn and suitable trainers, um, and this is obviously only on Fridays. Long sleeve tops can be worn underneath uh, your t-shirts as long as they are black or blue and do not have a hood. Outdoor clothing and hoodies are not to be worn around the academy and you must remove them before entering the building. And try not to forget things when you've got your PE kit. I know people say, oh, I forgot this, it was in my blazer. Make sure that on a Friday, if you're wearing your PE kit, you put things from your blazer into your coat pocket or a, a, another place to carry it, particularly face masks, because uh, a lot of people carry them in the blazers and then forget to bring them on a Friday. So let's make sure that we, we try to remember that. So the school day, slight changes um, to the school day um, since you were last in the building. So in order to maximise our learning experiences, uh, we've made some adjustments. Um, this is to help you reach your full potential and ready for you when you leave school. So the adjustments, so that the five minute transition between each lesson has now been removed. Uh, so that's increasing learning time, meaning transitioning to your next lesson immediately is essential. So once one lesson ends, um, for example, lesson one to lesson two, um we go straight there lesson five to lesson six we go straight there so we make sure um, that we're transitioning from lesson to lesson without any breaks in between so no gathering in the middle of the year 10 bubble we go straight to lessons 
Friday timings now mirror the rest of the week. However, there is obviously no period six because we finish at 2 p.m. So the slight change there is that lesson five will finish at 2 p.m. on a Friday and you'll go home at the end of lesson five on a Friday as opposed to having lesson six Monday through to Thursday. But all the timings will be exactly the same, so less confusion. Um, if you have any concerns, um, if, you, if there's anything you would like uh, your teacher to know before you return to school, um, you know the information that you give us will be benefit for you, but it also support help all support you on your return to the school. It's a confidential way to share any concerns or worries that you might have regarding your return to Whitehead Academy. You can share any concerns that you might have uh, been having at school, home, or in the community, uh, and then to port a concern to your teachers, see the email sent to your parents, and follow the link or click the link on this week's newsletter, which will be coming out at the same time as the assembly. So. That's pretty much it from me for this week. Uh, I hope you had a, a, a good time um, off in lockdown, uh, working hard, but it's time to come back to school next week and, and continue to work hard. So thank you very much for your time and I will see you very, very soon. Bye for now.